So I went back to the Nike factory store and I had a $50 off of $100 coupon and so I wanted to go ahead and make sure I spent it before it expired and I ended up picking up two pairs of sneakers in this bag that I'm going to show you guys in this video. Hey, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys a video today, show you guys two pickups that I ended up getting from the Nike factory store again. I had to go back because I had a $50 off of a $100 uh, card. How did I get that? Um, you guys might wonder. I basically went shopping to the factory store and I ended up buying something, I think that was $100, and maybe it was $200, I can't remember, but they gave me a 25 off of 50, and then in a different transaction, I had another one that was $50 off of $100, and it gives you a little date range of when you need to use those cards by. Um, so I had a couple days left before this one expired, it was like $50 for free from the outlet store, plus 20% off of the hash wall, so it was like a no-brainer. I had to find at least $100 to spend uh, at the factory store, and that is what I ended up doing. But if you guys like the video, please hit the thumbs up, show you guys the support, and if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and you can hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post future videos. Real quick plug, I do have another video where I'm giving away this pair of sneakers for free. All you have to do is go peep the other video and like that video and uh, leave a comment on that video. That's pretty much it. And I'm giving these away $180 retail for the 9317 EQT Boost. Definitely love this shoe, so go peep that video if you guys need to enter that contest. But let's go ahead and get in this video. I ended up getting these two pickups. I went through the store and looked around. What we ended up finding here? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, these ones did just release. I didn't know the... the... They're so nice, man. I didn't... It's in for 150. What are the what's the price here? Uh, it's the it's, it's the Ooh, wall too, all so right. It's pretty good deal, man. man. It's the only one here too. Oh, I wish they had my side. I, I know, pass. right? The, uh, they look clean. The back looks nice. Yeah, they have the Air Jordan One coming out too. Really? This thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a Latino I thing. To, thing uh, I think. One of the employees about that. That's cool. It comes yeah, with a bag too. Bag Here's your bag. Man. Bang, man. People are good sleeping time, on there. Right? I know. I, I couldn't believe it. Crazy. You can cop the ones. How much for? They're they're like. But the 20 and then I have a $20 card. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that's like, what I got last time. I got it for 30 <laughs> so bucks. For like, yeah, yeah, 25 bucks or something. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, so that's I happy. figured, why not, right? Yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make them to custom something. I, don't I know, know and do it, see? Yeah, same thought process. You got ones on, yes, sir. Hey, those are clean. Yeah, cybers. Yeah, lace it was raining when I left the house, so you do a lace swap on this, uh, just the tips. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, it's good, man. Yeah, good run into you again, good man. To see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, so these are these are, this is the colorway too. I love this colorway. It's a dope colorway. Yeah, back in the day, this is the one that they retroed. Yeah, it's Captain America kind of feel. Yeah, Neo Turquoise. So uh they're how much are they again? 79, so with the 20. Yeah, it'll that's be 64. uh yeah, 64 blocks, dude. That's a steal. These are that new cushioning react in the bottom of these. Hyper dunks, good colorway. I think these are retail though, minus 20%. I went there a couple weeks ago and I didn't see too much, but this time I was like looking around. They definitely got some new products from the last time. So I was super stoked because one pair, I actually wanted to buy at retail and I held off and I held off and then I ended up getting them for like 65 bucks or something like that total. Um, total price on both of them though was like $84. So. Fuck. So I went to the Nike factory store in Portland, Oregon, basically just walked around, try to find some sneakers in the store. 20% extra, 20% extra off the hash wall, which is an added bonus, but um, they had some things that were on the floor the last time I went on the hash wall, but they also had some new items that I did not see there the last time, one of which I ended up picking up, which I'm super stoked about. The other one was a pair that I waited and waited for it to go down in price, and eventually went to the price point where I was like, boom, copping these ones right here. So I ended up getting two pairs and the price was $86, I think for both pairs. So well under a hundred dollars. I know I'm kind of cheating the title a little bit because I did have the $50 extra off. So I spent a little bit more than hundred if I didn't have that. But at the end of the day, both pairs cost me under a hundred dollars, which is a great price point. Um, retail on them was like 160 and 165 per pair. So uh, definitely something that I was happy to see. I'll show you the shoes. First things first, this one does not have a box as you can see here. The box was super thrashed in the store. And then this one does have a box with, with the lid and everything. Here's my receipts, let's see here. These right here were 80 bucks and then it was an extra 20% off so they were actually uh, $16 off of that. 
and then there was a final price of forty dollars and eleven cents so these were 40 bucks retailed was 160. they were actually list price in the store for 130. uh the up tempo is 79 and then 20 percent off of that so 79 yeah. plus the 20 percent yeah so the fact that they were 80 not 130 is what made me go yep i'm gonna pull the trigger on these ones and buy them quality on these are super nice really really nice leather really really nice materials and a solid colorway in my opinion just not one of those models where for me i was like i have to have those ones because this is the the up tempos but i'm definitely like the more up tempos with the nike air on the sides that was the one that definitely drew myself to that shoe back in the day i had a couple of the other ones the dynamic flights and the more up tempos were definitely on my radar more than these ones were but um for the price point and the fact that they had one left in my size, I was like, and then I tried them on in store. I was like, these things look pretty nice. So tempting to pull the trigger on these, man. I looked at them three times already. I'm like, I should just buy these. So I went with it and decided I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger on these. But for $40, leave a comment. Uh, was it worth it or not? I personally think it was a really, really good deal for 40 bucks. But let's show you guys the next pair with the one I'm super excited to show you guys. Um, again, this one's going to be hit and miss with you guys, but for me, this one was a solid home run. I was super, super excited when I saw these uh, in the store. And uh, you can see it's a Nike Lab Air Force One, and it's a mid, which this is kind of a funny thing. I actually prefer Air Force One mids over the highs. I think they just look better. I mentioned it in other videos, but a lot of people don't agree. At the end of the day, this is what I like. And I ended up getting this chocolate brown colorway. We okay, got these. These are crazy nice. Look at the quality of leather on these. Nike Lab Air Force One mids retail 165, only 70 bucks. The clear soles. These things are super super nice. With a Nike Lab with that crazy bottom on it, and the leather wrapped midsole. These things are super super nice. Um, let's get the other one out. And show you guys. Let's see if I can get a box fart. Uh, the box price is 165 on these and this one even came with the lace bag. I think they're wax laces on there, but the midsole is leather wrapped if you can see it and the leather quality, you could probably see it in the light even. Just super, super nice leather quality. Looks like kind of a light waxed brown lace on them. But um, the craziest part I have to tell you guys about these is the comfort. I don't know what it is about these that make it different than other Air Force Ones. Um, I'm gonna try to pull out the midsole right now, but it has to be this midsole. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Ah, uh, this this was this is why Nike like struggles sometimes, man. This is ridiculous. This is a crazy, crazy lunar lawn midsole. The reason why I'm saying that Nike's crazy is because this wasn't promoted at all in the shoe, and nobody probably even knew about this. It has a zoom bag on the bottom, so it has zoom on an Air Force One with lunar lawn insoles. What the heck? I cannot believe that this was not part of like the promotions. Every single person that I've talked to that has a pair, and leave a comment if you guys have a pair of Nike Lab Air Force Ones. I'll link these in the description in just various places that have these for sale still, because you can get these well under $100. And the fact that they're retail at 165, but they have Lunar Lawn midsole, just a super, super cushiony, like the best Lunar Lawn midsole I've held in hand. And then on top of it, it has the zoom bag on the back. Like this is a home run. Uh, hidden little gem on the shoe. I, in the, in the store, I was feeling this, and I thought it was like leather line or something, but it's just the a brown lunar line. I just tried these on in the store though, and I was just blown away on how comfortable these were. The fact that it was super premium, the fact that it was really really comfortable, it just made me super excited that that I was actually going to be able to get a pair of these for that price point, um, which I ended up paying forty three dollars for this pair right here, forty three bucks with my discount, and uh, dude super steel in my opinion and definitely my favorite pickup that i picked up in quite a while i just this color is perfect for fall um i've already mentioned this to you guys many times but i think that brown sneakers are dope i like like just like earth tone sneakers for the most part so both of these ones i think are just super super nice but this color i was super stoked about i've shown you guys these at the factory stores in the low tops before i didn't know if it had the same lunar lawn insoles or not but um, the colors have always been a little bit off to me. Like a citron color was weird. The baby blue was a maybe, but but the fact that they had the brown ones, I was like, boom, done, done and done. That's the one I wanted. I think a lot of people really like the Pachetta tan colorway of the um, Air Force One mids, 
But um, other than that colorway, all the other ones pretty much sit. But I'm happy that I ended up getting these. I'm excited to be able to rock in these ones. And I am super, super pleasantly surprised by this crazy uh, liner on this insole. Anyway, that is what we have for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And what do you guys think about the pickups? Uh, not bad for 83 bucks, $84, or something like that for both of these. This is one of those things about sneakers that I honestly really love. The fact that you can go thrifting and hunting and trying to find good deals. And the fact that the market is oversaturated right now, which I've done plenty of videos on already, the fact that that's happening makes it ultimately a win for the consumer at the time being because uh, we can get some great, great products that are pretty high quality for a really, really low price point. And I think that ultimately, that's a huge win for us consumers. But that's all we have uh, for this video. And one more plug on the giveaway video. If you guys want to get these from me, check out that other video. I'm going to give them away um, and I'll be choosing a winner next week. That's all we have. Thank you guys for stopping in and watching. Much appreciated. And shout out to Rose City Sneakers who I saw at the factory store. It was cool to link up with him again and chat with him. Uh, but that is what we have. We'll catch you guys with some more videos soon. Peace, guys.